Welcome to Sheridan's 57th Convocation. This morning, we're honoring the graduates of Continuing in Professional Studies. My name is Carol Altilia, and I am Sheridan's Provost and Vice President Academic. As we gather virtually today, we would like to acknowledge that all of Sheridan's campuses reside on land that has been, and still is, the traditional territory of several Indigenous nations, including the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Wendat, the Métis, and the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. Since time immemorial, numerous Indigenous nations and Indigenous peoples have lived on and passed through this territory. We recognize this territory is covered by the Dish with One Spoon Treaty and the Two Row Wampum Treaty, which emphasize the importance of joint stewardship, peace, and respectful relationships. As you may be joining us from different territories, we acknowledge the many diverse nations and territories you are joining from. Sheridan College affirms that it is our collective responsibility to honour, respect those who have gone before us, those who are here, and those who are yet to come. We are grateful for the opportunity to be learning, working, living, and thriving on this land. Congratulations, graduates. Convocation is a major milestone in your life, one made all the more meaningful by the unprecedented challenges you've had to overcome this past year. You've completed your program during a time when we had to quickly adapt the ways in which we work and learn, lacked a sense of normalcy and routine, were prevented from gathering and celebrating in person with our friends and family, and faced threats or impact to our financial stability and security. As we start to see vaccination numbers increase and COVID-19 case rates slowly decrease around the world, we can all take comfort in the knowledge that better is coming. But as we gather virtually today in celebration and anticipation of a brighter future, we also recognize those who have suffered the greatest loss of all during the pandemic. Sheridan mourns every Canadian who has died from this terrible disease. And we grieve alongside each student, faculty and staff in the Sheridan community who has lost a loved one to COVID-19. To begin our convocation ceremony, Please join our new graduates from the Honours Bachelor Music Theatre Performance Program, Torian T. Singh and Isabella Wolder, accompanied by Michael Mulrooney in singing of our national anthem. Thank you for that beautiful rendition of O Canada. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Janet Morrison, Sheridan's President and Vice Chancellor, to officially launch this convocation. Thank you, Carol. On behalf of Sheridan, I extend a warm welcome to you, our graduates in continuing in professional studies, and to your family members and friends who are joining us today for this virtual ceremony. Convocation is an important milestone in our students' experience. It's the culmination of years of hard work and a stepping stone into your future. While I am disappointed, like all of you, that circumstances prevent us from celebrating your achievements in our traditional fashion, 
the importance of this occasion is undiminished. The last 15 months have been a learning experience for all of us. And I'm so proud of the determination you've shown in successfully completing your program in the midst of these unprecedented circumstances. Resilience and grit are qualities we strive to nurture in our students. And your success in reaching this point assures me that we are advancing that goal. My colleagues and I are passionate about post-secondary education because we know it transforms people, families, and communities. It's not just that graduates enjoy higher rates of employment and greater earning power. It's that an investment in higher education propels people to be healthier, more engaged, conscious citizens in our democracy, which is more important now than ever before. You are graduating at a time of global economic and political uncertainty. As our Chancellor, Hazel McCallion, will share with you shortly, past generations have also faced unforeseen challenges and risen to the occasion. I'm confident that you, armed with your degree, diploma, or certificate, and the overall learning and skills that you've gained from your Sheridan experience, are well equipped to go forth and make a positive impact. In closing, I would ask you to consider those who have fueled, funded, or inspired your learning journey, be they family, friends, and or your professors. They deserve our collective thanks and recognition. It is now my pleasure to introduce a brief video message from Sheridan's Chancellor, Hazel McCallion. Greetings to the graduating class of 2021, to the many family members, friends, staff, and faculty joining our virtual audience, welcome. I'm glad to be able to share some thoughts with you on this special day. It is a great honor for me to serve as Sheridan's first ever chancellor, as someone who never had the opportunity to attend college or university, I have a keen appreciation for how meaningful this milestone is for you. And as someone who grew up during the Great Depression and oversaw many changes as mayor of Mississauga, I also understand what it means to embark on a new journey during a pivotal moment in history. As the class of 2021, you are graduating at a time when our society continues to face a great challenge, one that requires all of us to work together to overcome. And we will, together with you, our newest graduates. It will take hard work, ingenuity, passion, and commitment. I have no doubt that you are ready and that Sheridan has prepared you well. You are graduating from one of the most progressive post-secondary institutions in Canada, one that instills in our students a desire and resolve to go out and make a difference in their communities. While this is a moment of unprecedented change in our world, it is also a moment of great opportunity. There's everything out there for you. Go for it with enthusiasm and dedication, and you will be a success. I wish you the very best on this next chapter. Thank you so much, Chancellor McCallion, for that inspiring message. It is now my honor to introduce Sarah Ibrahim, a member of the first graduating class of the Honors Bachelor of Creative Writing and Publishing, and Sheridan's inaugural Poet Laureate. Sarah has successfully published her work in professional literary venues and has been nominated for several national poetry contests. Next year, she will be going on to complete an MFA in creative writing at the University of British Columbia. Graduation Spark. Class of 2021, hello from afar. Welcome to your graduation. This is not the graduation we envisioned. This is not the final year we expected. This is not the bittersweet end to our school days we yearned for, but our celebratory spark endures, as does the grief that comes with all good endings. We should remember that spark, like all energy, 
does not die, it transforms. It grows and winnows into new beginnings. It transmutes all it touches. It alters us even as itself ends. So yes, gone in our celebration is a pressing of the crowd. Gone is a stage. Gone are the echoes of applaud. The cheers of friends and family is soft and far away. Gone is the congratulatory hugs and handshakes. No bouquet taken and no moment on stage. What lingers is a tenderness of a last class, the end to life as a student, the shifting hope. A spark that carries on, that burns for just a little bit longer. What remains is a loneliness of a good ending, of the embers left at the end of an educational fire. Yes, something intangible is missing, something in the smoke and fog of a physical celebration. Sure, the electricity of a shared space and time is gone. Our isolated screens both separate and connect us. We alone celebrate together. But that spark, that energy of a lingering end and the joy of new beginnings lives here in this moment. Even in this moment of distant celebration of stifled joy, let us rekindle the flame and let sweetness overcome. Hold on to the pride and triumph, that high high that comes with burning success or capture this relief we feel at a hard earned end, that lingering relief of earning a hard graduation. And finally, embrace even the fear tinged thrill that comes with new beginnings. Here at the end, take a moment to remember ourselves in our first fiery school days. Think about the light that guided us from a gasping, stumbling semester. Remember our shifting journey of a strike, a funding cut, and finally a pandemic. Each one taking some of our number, but not our fire. Let us celebrate the journey so filled with burning energy and heat. This is a parade of wide flung graduating class synchronized together. This space between us is less than the distance glass can throw sparking light. Bedroom lights have replaced stage lights. Our smiles are the same. Computer screens have some planted stages. Our whispered conversation by DMs. Our applause is internal and far away, but not less joyous than when out loud and up close. Here at the end, take a moment to remember ourselves in the early optimistic first days. Think about that light that guided us from a gasping first semester. Remember our shifting journey of a strike, a funding cut, and finally a pandemic each one taking some of our number, but not our fire. A gift of a journey is a satisfying end, a fire, a spark, an ember that keeps its glow. Class of 2021, goodbye and congratulations from afar. Thank you, Sarah, for your inspiring message. At this time, I'd like to introduce the chair of Sheridan's Board of Governors, a leader deeply invested in students, learning, and graduate outcomes, Mr. John Fleming, to extend greetings from the board and confer this year's credentials. Thank you, Janet. We have been presented with the list of graduands who have successfully completed the curriculum of their chosen program as required by Sheridan's Board of Governors and recommended by Continuing and Professional Studies to be awarded their credentials in recognition of their academic accomplishment. I therefore confer their certificates on them in absentia with all the honours, privileges and responsibilities pertaining thereto. On behalf of the Board of Governors, I want to extend our warmest congratulations to the class of 2021. We are always proud of our Sheridan graduates and never has it been more true that pride than this year. Faculty and students alike have had to learn resilience and have had to pivot to an entirely different way of learning and teaching. So it's especially wonderful for me to have an opportunity to extend congratulations to the class of 2021 on behalf of the entire Board of Governors. At this time, I'd like to hand the virtual floor over to Naslin Herji, Executive Director of Continuing and Professional Studies, to deliver her remarks and introduce your valedictorian.
On behalf of Continuing in Professional Studies, I'd like to congratulate each of you for completing your respective programs, an accomplishment that demonstrates your resilience, determination, and dedication, especially in these challenging times. You enrolled at Sheridan eager to upgrade your skills or acquire new knowledge and skills to advance your careers. I'm confident that the successful completion of your Sheridan credential sets you up for your future success. It's an academic tradition for a representative of the graduating class to speak on behalf of their fellow graduates, looking back on your Sheridan experience and looking forward to the future journey on which you are about to embark. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's valedictorian from Continuing in Professional Studies, Elka Brake. Elka is graduating from the Building Environmental Systems Operator Program. She currently works at the Credit Valley Hospital as a maintenance assistant, with the goal of becoming a building systems operator. Despite her original hesitation about going back to school, Elka decided to take the leap and pursue her dream of a career in building environmental systems. Through her hard work, she not only completed the program, but is graduating with honors. Elka is a proud mom who believes her kids are her greatest achievement and hopes to one day also become a certified chef. I'm honored to turn the camera over to Elka, your continuing in professional studies valedictorian. Thank you, Director Herji. Hello to the virtual audience and the graduating class of 2021. I am so honored to be your valedictorian and to share a little of my story with you today. Well, I'm back to school as a mature student and as a grandmother it was both an exciting and scary time in my life. It has been quite a journey to this special day. As most of you know, life is hardly ever smooth. After working in the culinary industry at, at Credit Valley Hospital for 35 years, I went through a painful divorce and saw my retirement coming closer. I knew I had to do more to get back on the right path. A very good friend asked me, why don't you go back to school for continuing education? He encouraged me to follow my dreams and pursue studies in building environmental systems. At first, I feared I was too old, but my family cheered me on. I have two adult children and two beautiful grandchildren, aged nine, uh, sorry, seven and three. They became my cheering squad and with their support, this grandma decided to take on the challenge. Going back to school was definitely a big adjustment. I had to juggle a full-time job, including overtime at the hospital. Then along came COVID-19. Classes were moved to online learning and that presented another huge challenge for me. I had no computer skills except for checking my emails. How was I possibly going to complete an online course? But with hard work, I learned how to use computers and navigate online classes. This was a big learning experience, but I did it. Thank goodness for the IT department at Sheridan. By the time I graduated, I knew them all on a first name basis. There have been many other valuable lessons this year. I believe a lesson learned should be a lesson shared among others in the field. I learned about resilience. My own father passed away during the first wave of COVID, which was a very difficult time for my family. I had to learn to balance work, school, and caring for my mom. Working in healthcare, I learned to be empath empathetic to my coworkers as we all struggled while working through this pandemic. Staff, patients, and visitors at the hospital are all having a hard time. I, had, I did my best to continue to bring smiles to those I work with. I learned that it's the small gestures that show you care that often matters the most. Overall this year, I learned how important it is to follow your dreams. And that if you get knocked down, you can and you must find the strength to get back up and try again. This grandmother did it many times and she's still standing. 
Today, I am much closer to achieving my dream of becoming a building systems operator. I will be forever grateful to my family, friends, fellow students, and everyone who pushed me outside my comfort zone and helped me follow my dreams. And of course, to my friends at the Sheridan IT department. I hope you are all very proud of taking this step towards your dreams too. COVID may have changed life as we know it, but Sharon has given us the tools and knowledge to succeed. I am confident you will all succeed if you believe in yourselves. Go out into the world and keep being the best you can be. Show kindness and support and you will not fail. Keep smiling, keep laughing and make others laugh as it'll bring you happiness. You have it, what it takes to make the most of this life. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, Elka, and thank you for your insightful and inspiring words. I eagerly look forward to hearing about your next success. At this time, I'd like to introduce our guest speaker, Akil McKenzie. Akil is a gifted director and videographer who graduated from Sheridan's Bachelor of Film and Television program in 2018. As the founder and chief executive officer of Falling Motion, he's worked for various clients, creating music and corporate videos for companies including Nike and Lexus. In February, he also launched his new film, Historians, which brings together his powerful spoken word poem that poignantly captures the experience of anti-black racism. His film has gone viral on social media and was recently featured on CBC's The National. It also won Best Social Justice Film at the Vancouver Independent Film Festival. Thank you for joining us today, Akil. The way I want to start this, I'm going to start that over. Ah. <laughs> It's disgusting. I'm going to do it again. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Akil McKenzie, or on Instagram, Akil.McKenzie, if you're trying to follow me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and I am a 2018 graduate from the Honors of Bachelor of Film and Television. Right now, I currently am in a full-time job running my own media production company, which is called Falling Motion. We shoot, like, commercials, music videos, weddings, films, all that stuff. I do what I went to school for. <laughs> So the way I want to start this is by asking if you guys remember 2012. You know, that's the year where there were all these kinds of predictions that the world was going to end and there were movies and songs all dropping about it and everyone was like, it's the end of the world! <laughs> and uh, spoiler, we got through it. Now, 2020 comes along and everyone's like, yo, the Mayans got it wrong, bro. We read it wrong. It's not supposed to be 2012. The world's gonna end in 2020. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was pretty legit. <laughs> Cause the world looked like it was actually burning. Global pandemic, political upheaval, human rights were just endangered left, right, and center, and yet we made it through that year too. Now, here we are, and I'm speaking with the graduating class of 2021, you know? That, that sounds nice, like that's a nice year to see you graduated, like 2021, like, mm, like it's, it's good, it sounds good. Um, and you made it through that. You were a part of that. And now, as you graduate, the world's just gonna keep burning. It's going to keep happening. But that's okay, because as it's already been proven, that does not stop you from shooting for success. It's like, look where you are now. Now, when I say success, I, I don't mean that as career, not lifestyle. I'm talking about happiness, true, Success is happiness for yourself and for those around you. And the way life works, a lot of people aren't given the opportunity to find that success. Many people aren't in circumstances that encourages that happiness. And that's why 
it's kind of okay to see the world burn down because it gives us the chance to rebuild. And we are the generation that will take that fire and turn it into light. You finished your time at Sheridan in circumstances that you couldn't have dreamed of when you started. The Sheridan alumni community is so proud of you. Congratulations, Bruins. Let's shoot for success. You finished your time at Sheridan in circumstances you never could have dreamed of when you started. The Sheridan alumni community is proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Bruins, and welcome to the alumni community. We'll be here to cheer you on as you start your career, and I can't wait to see what you'll accomplish next. Congratulations, Bruins. You've worked so hard. Now, it's your turn to celebrate. Savor every moment of this exciting time in your life, and welcome to Sheridan Alumni. Thank you so much, Akil, and all of our incredible alumni who continue to support Sheridan. It is now time for that special moment, the virtual presentation of degrees, diplomas, and certificates, which will be highlighted on each graduate's slide. But before we begin, I wanna to speak to the special designations and awards that some of you have received for outstanding academic achievement. Students who achieve a cumulative program grade point average of 3.6 to 3.89 will receive a light blue honor cord in recognition of their honors status. Students who achieve a cumulative program grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0 will receive a double blue honor cord in recognition of their high honor status. The student in each program with the best academic record overall will be awarded the Board of Governors silver medal. Those graduates who have completed the board undergraduate certificate in creativity and creative problem solving, in addition to their degree program, will also be bestowed the creativity honor cord. This honor cord is a symbol of academic achievement and the color orange represents creativity. The stole that you will receive along with your parchment is a symbol of academic achievement that represents the realization of excellence in your chosen program and symbolizes your membership in the international community of scholars. Any special designations our graduates have received will appear on their individual slide along with their personal reflection and picture. Our indigenous graduates will also receive sweetgrass Sweetgrass is one of the four sacred medicines of First Nations communities, along with sage, cedar, and tobacco. It is used by many indigenous communities across North America for ceremonial purposes, smudges, healing, and talking circles. The smoke is believed to purify thoughts and physical spaces and to promote wellness. It is often braided with the three sections representing mind, body and soul or love, kindness and honesty. There is a further institutional honor that we recognize at convocation each year. The highest academic honor awarded by post-secondary institutions in Canada is the Governor General's Medal. This medal recognizes the graduate who has achieved the highest academic record from among the members of the graduating class. We would now like to recognize this year's recipient. Hugi, oh. good morning. My name is Janet. I'm Sheridan's president. Yeah. Do you know why we're here today? That is awesome. You should be doing this announcement and award. That is exactly it. So congratulations. Like we're so thrilled for you. The Governor General's Award is a really big deal. So congratulations. Thank you for choosing Sheridan. Uh, we've heard just amazing things from your faculty. And so we're so proud of you. Honestly, you carry with you Sheridan's legacy in all that you're gonna do. 
and uh, I, I can't imagine how much work you've invested in this, particularly with two kids at home. So congratulations. Yeah, the last year in particular couldn't have been easy. So well done, well done, congratulations.
congratulations again to our graduating class in continuing and professional studies. We're so proud of you and the 190,000 alumni of this great institution. Please know that as soon as public health directives allow, we hope to offer you the opportunity to cross our stage and celebrate your accomplishment in person. Until then, on behalf of our entire learning community, I'd like to thank you for choosing Sheridan to advance your educational and your life goals. Best of luck in the next step of your journey, and please stay in touch with our incredible alumni team.